Hello students. As you can see, I'm in the mad science lab cooking up some new obstacles for you this year. This year's obstacle course is gonna be so much fun. And on top of having fun, we also need to be safe. So we got some rules we need to follow. First, please make sure you are being safe, making good choices at all times. Second, if you mess up an obstacle, please fix it immediately so the person behind you can enjoy the obstacle course as well. And third, pay attention to the instructions of your course coaches because they're also, their job is to keep us safe. I'm gonna be joined in just a minute by two of my helpers. They are gonna show you the safe way to get through each obstacle and to have a lot of fun. So, with that being said, have fun and everybody have a happy Halloween. This is Peyton and this is Hawk. And they're gonna show us the safe way to go through the obstacle course. The first obstacle is the tunnel. Fifth graders, you will watch Peyton. She will do um, some extra things. Go ahead, Hawk. So fifth graders, you can bypass the tunnel unless you just want to do it. And the first thing you come to is the rope swing. You see Hawk's grabbing above a knot, leans back, picks his feet up pretty easy. Pepe's gonna grab a higher rope or a higher knot. Okay. And then we're gonna go through the, uh, the rib cage. Go ahead, Hawk. This is for the younger kids. Y'all crawl through nice and easy. You wanna go slow so you don't tear them apart. Peyton is gonna do the big obstacles, a little bit of leaping there for you fifth graders. And then we get to the uh, Y'all go ahead, the graveyard. When you go through the graveyard, try not to knock down any of the ghosts. And then we have the balance beam. Everyone can do the balance beam. Take your time, and it is a metal balance beam. If you fall, you can get hurt. So practice your balance there. And then my younger students, you're gonna climb straight up, high five a ghost. There's two up there that you can high five. Fifth grade, you can climb through the monster's arms, going across, just like Peyton's doing here. Let's see if she can get through without knocking any arms off. She's getting awfully long. Hop, go ahead and head to the tunnel. And after the climbing wall, good job. We'll go through the tunnel, grab a scooter, Care how you ride, just make sure that you ride safely, protect your fingers. Fast there. And Pepe, riding a little safer. All the way down, you'll go around the corner and pop out. Then you will flip over. Girls, right here, make sure you protect your hair. If you have long hair, you want to sit up. And Peyton will show you how to ride there. Oh, go ahead. But you'll pull yourself. Peyton, do it the uh, crisscross applesauce. Sitting up so they can kind of see. Good way to ride. Girls, this is an option if you have long hair. And then when you get down here, you're gonna return your scooter to where it was and head to the climbing wall again. Everybody is gonna crawl across as far as you can. Try not to knock the, oh, try not to knock the uh, things off. The, Noodles. Good job. Go ahead, Pay. That works. Now, if you want to, you can go all the way to the end down here before you jump off. But just for the sake of time. Whoop! Got her. All right, go ahead and get down, Pay. Hurry up. Then you have the spider web. We're going to crawl under it. Please get low. You don't have to get that low. But just hands and knees are fine. hit the spider web. Then we have another rope swing. Just going across the monster's mouth. You can back up a little bit more, grab high on the rope, and that'll get you across. And then lastly, uh, another skeleton rib cage. Go ahead, Hawk. And fifth grade, my bigger kids, you can do kind of the big hopscotch. And then you're starting over. 
Have a happy Halloween and enjoy the fall crawl.